Hey, what's up? This is Anton Bauer here. It's all very well and good making product reviews on single product, but when two things come out that make the perfect pair, you know I gotta do them both at once as a little kind of mini outfit thing. So introducing therefore the Onfon Levy Aldatz pants and Larry Kimono. I saw these two things styled together in their lookbook for SS19 and I have them both here. So thank you very much to Onfon Levy for sending me these two so that I can make this little video about the combo. The ones I have here are made of technical poplin, which is a extremely lightweight and breathable material, which also has some water resistance in there as well. I thought because these things are so kind of light and free flowing, a material like this would be perfect. Although they do also do them in shoulder dry skin as well. Um, that comes in a little bit more expensive, but I know you guys are big shoulder dry skin fans. A lot of you are anyway. So that's always an option to consider. And those ones will be a little bit more winter appropriate, I think, because they'll be a little bit more thick and they'll also have a bit more structure to them as well. So they will drape a little bit differently, but I'm sure both of them will look real nice. The technical poplin version of these comes in at 290 euros for the kimono, 295 for the pants, compared to the dry skin version, which is 340 and 360 euros respectively. So that places them firmly in the considered purchase category and uh, pretty par for the course when it comes to high quality products, uh, especially ones made of shoulder dry skin. So for that kind of price, very much considered purchase. You wanna know how they feel, how they look, what kind of features, if any, they have. So for that reason, we're gonna check them both out in this video. The Aldatz pants are the more feature rich of the two. If you were gonna buy one of these two things, they're probably the one that you would go for as well. They have some similarity to acronyms P30ADS pants that came out in the same season, but there are some noticeable differences here. Um, and that's something that I'll talk a little bit about as well as in a dedicated video about the P30 as well. The P30 and the Aldatz both have this very noticeable drop crotch shape and a really oversized silhouette that tapers down to a nice narrow leg opening. But the Aldatz does this in a slightly different way and it's not really something that I've seen in other pants before. Um, they call it a J cut is what they refer to it as on their website. It's basically uh, extra material that's on the front of the pants that can then be cinched over um, by use of a belt. This makes them drape super nicely and it gives the pants a much needed structure to what would ordinarily be something that is very unstructured, lots of excess material, quite baggy, very easy for them to maybe not look that flattering. The belt that holds this excess material in place doesn't actually hold the trousers up, that's done by an elasticated waist. I found this to be quite tight to be honest. I have a size medium pair of Amez 2 cargos and I found that these were much tighter in comparison. These are a custom pair with an XL sized waist and L everywhere else. That might just be a personal preference thing because I don't like things being super tight on my waist. I would definitely opt for bigger rather than smaller if you plan on picking these up. For reference, I have approximately a 33 inch waist and XL waist seems to be the perfect size for me. A downside of this elastic and belt configuration, A, you can't wear your own belt, but that's not too much of an issue, I don't think. And B, because there is a single point that you pull this material in from, the dangly strap that you get falls pretty much directly down between the legs which is not super flattering and it means that it can like bash about from left to right so what I like to do is fold this over kind of under itself and then it sits on one side a little bit more which I find much better uh, compare that to the p30 they use a double system for uh, cinching in the waist so you then have two straps that fall over each leg uh, I find that a better system personally but your mileage may vary. There's another cool aspect of the tailoring which no doubt works alongside the overall shape and again makes it clear that this is not just an unstructured oversized pair of pants but something that have had quite a lot of thought put into them. You'll see on the back there's this big asymmetric slash that's used to sew up the material effectively. I think it's a really futuristic touch having that asymmetric line and it's just not something that you'd really see anywhere else. If you've not worn a pair of pants like these, especially ones that come in a more premium price point, you might imagine that they'd be super hard to move around in, what with this drop crotch, you might feel like it would be very restrictive, but in reality, for the most part, it's the opposite. I find these very free, very easy to move around in. There is a little bit of restriction with the drop crotch, like don't plan on doing the splits or whatever, but it doesn't feel like your legs are kind of connected together when you're walking. There is enough excess material that there's still lots of free movement when you want to do that. And for general wearing, the combination of the cut and the material makes for an extremely wearable and very comfy pair of pants. There's something that I can very happily put on all day and just wear them no problems, whether I'm sitting around in the house or going out walking around, 
they will pretty much do it all. At the cuffs are zip-off sections that are not dissimilar to the P30A, and what that means is you don't only have the potential for multiple looks, but multi-season wearing as well. When it's a little bit cooler, you can keep those things attached, make sure your whole leg's protected, but in summer months when it's a little bit warmer, you can unzip those, take them off, and you'll not only find uh, things a lot more breathable, a bit more lightweight, but also it makes things look quite nice as well because you don't have that very close cinched in part of the ankle, but the whole pant will have a more free flowing and oversized look to it. Personally, I really like the look of having them attached, to be honest, I do like that aggressive shape. So I'll probably wear them zipped up a lot of the time, but it's nice to know that you have the option of both, and I'm sure I will get decent wear out of both configurations. And when a pant like this is fairly expensive, it's nice to know that you've got two distinct options for wearing, both of which are genuinely good looking, and neither one nor the other is an afterthought. That's really the primary feature of these. You've got a couple of pockets on, there's two zipped ones on the front, one zipped on the back. They all use Riri waterproof zip, so anything in there is going to be pretty secure. But the focus here is really on the high quality lightweight material used and that unique cut and example of good quality tailoring. It's clearly had some effort put into it from an aesthetic perspective and comparing it to the P30, I actually feel like I like the cut of these a little bit more in terms of how they look. That extra material on the front gives that nice verticality aspect, which I don't really see anywhere else. The acronym ones might be a little bit more fully featured. They do come in dry skin as well, but that's also an option with these pants. So I think from that perspective, uh, yeah, they're not exactly the same, but you could consider them a viable alternative to those. What about the Larry kimono though? Well, first of all, it's not really a kimono. That's a much longer garment that's normally worn by women and looks more like a dressing gown, to be honest, whereas a kimono is a shorter length, more workwear focused garment that both men and women would wear. So I'll call this an aragi. The benefit of this piece is certainly not in its functionality because apart from the technical material and that single military pocket on the arm, which let's be honest, no one really uses, there's not really any functionality as such to speak of. But it's all about its distinctive aesthetic and synergy with a product like the Aldatz pants. There are a few hallmarks that differentiate this between a normal shirt or shirt jacket and give it a clear Asian inspired style. Most notably that's on the sleeves which have a light crop to them and are fairly wide and the two part fastening mechanism as well. You first tie this to the right and then you fold the material over and tie it on the left as well which gives it this wrapped appearance and make it look quite structured. It's quite a short shape as well, so it kind of sits on the hips, and that works in an interesting way with something like the Aldatz pants that have that drop crotch. You've got some kind of interesting proportions and combinations going on there. When undone, it has a little bit more of a casual look, but it's still very obviously different to a normal shirt jacket or a cardigan. Not only do the straps hang far below the naragi itself, um, you'll basically look like a spaghetti monster when you've got this plus the Aldatz pants, there's basically straps everywhere. But the lapels have this slight bit of contrast to them, which is very reminiscent of a traditional Japanese piece of clothing. And the cut of this is quite different as well. It uh, folds very vertically towards the chest and then it cuts away towards the bottom of the garment, which is not really something that you'd normally see. A cardigan, for example, would almost always be straight down the whole way. All of these combined mean the Larry in terms of its tailoring does have a little complexity. I think the price fairly reflects that this is essentially a cool technical equivalent to a light arm covering like a shirt or a cardigan. It is fairly cheap after all by on von Leve jacket standards. Despite the Larry's clear inspiration from Japanese garments like the Naragi, I don't really feel like I'm wearing a costume when I have this on. I think it's significantly different to the Japanese traditional stuff. It's got a lot more of a modern take on it, especially using this technical poplin material or indeed shoulder dry skin. I do think it's more inspiration than and offensive replication. And I do think that it's cool that a Polish company like On Von Leve can take inspiration from something like that in the same way that uh, Visvim, a Japanese company, can take inspiration from American workwear and Navajo motifs in their clothing. Each piece alone bearing these quite unusual sartorial elements I think could end up looking a bit out of place alone or in the context of wearing alongside other very normal clothes. So they do make a really nice combo having both of them. I think they really do bring out the best in each other. I kind of took this to the extreme, uh, let's be honest, a couple of weeks ago in an outfit that I put out. Um, but there's nothing to say that you can't do a more relaxed or more toned down version of this outfit and get pretty good results without necessarily 
looking quite as extra as I did in those photos. Specifically by focusing on all black as they do in the lookbook, I think you'll get something that has a more effortless look to it overall while still being very distinctive and individual. You can really let the texture and the interesting cuts of these things shine. Overall though, I think in terms of comfort, in terms of looks and in terms of tailoring as well, these two things together really do make a great pair. There's clearly not as much functionality as a lot of the things on this channel, but it's also clearly not designed to do that. And the bits of functionality that you will find, like the zip off cuffs on the LDATS pants, are actually genuinely useful and I don't really feel a gimmicky. Perhaps these are gonna be too out there aesthetically though for many people, especially if you're not used to wearing stuff like this. And if you plan on getting both of these things together, I think there's a lot that makes them different to regular products. And I think all of those things together, maybe that is gonna feel like a lot initially. But if you're already moving in this direction perhaps, or you think, oh, that looks sick, like I can definitely think of other things in my wardrobe that will look great with these, then I don't think you'll be disappointed. The material too, I think is a really nice choice. And if you're looking for something lightweight, then you certainly can't go wrong with this. And the two together, perfect lightweight little combo. Let me know what you think of this outfit down in the comments. I've genuinely been wearing this a lot and I'm really enjoying it. So hopefully you guys think that it looks good as well. Or if there's a particular piece that you could see yourself wearing, but maybe not the two together, then let me know your thoughts. And of course, if you enjoyed the video, you wanna see some more stuff like this, then hit that like button, it is super appreciated. And as always, I will catch you next week with another video. You might have noticed a bit of a background change. I'm in the studio at work after hours because uh, my room is being replastered currently. So uh, it's not really in a filmable state and just everything is all over the place. It's a total mess. Uh, but yeah, I hope, hope you like this uh, little change, even if it is gonna be for one or two weeks. Thanks for making it all the way to the end of the video. If you wanna catch some more stuff, there's gonna be links going up at the top there. And if you haven't subscribed yet, then you should definitely consider doing so because we've got all kinds of stuff like this coming in every week. Um, there'll be cool stuff next week for sure. I don't even know what's coming up yet. I've not checked the calendar, but it's gonna be good. So hit the button and you can be the first one to tune in.